Well, I had no role in it. Uh, I've, I've heard, I don't know him, but I've heard he was a very good man. And uh, it was a, the whole thing was a very unfortunate. Uh, the captain should not have written a letter. He didn't have to be Ernest Hemingway. He made a mistake, but he had a bad day. And uh, I hate seeing bad things happen. Man made a mistake. But, you know, you shouldn't be writing letters, and you sh you're in the military. You're the captain of a great ship, and you shouldn't be writing letters and sending them to many people. And then it gets out to the media. And, you know, the question is, how did it get out to the media? So there's a lot of bad things happened there. I had heard he did because he didn't want to cause any disturbance for our country. So that was a — because he, he wouldn't have had to resign. I would not have asked him. I don't know him. Uh, I didn't speak to him. But uh, he did that, I think, just to end end that problem. And I think in one — in really many ways, that was a very — unselfish thing for him to do. Well, they're going to look at that. I think uh, the Secretary of Defense, as you know, is, is uh, you know, Mark Esper, and he's very capable. And I think he's looking at that right now. They're, they're going to uh, just take it under regular Navy channels to see what they want to do. But um, he made a mistake, but he shouldn't have done that. And uh, your secretary probably shouldn't have said quite what he said. Uh, he didn't have to resign, but he felt it would be better for the country. So, I, you know, I think it's uh, — it will end it quickly.